Hey everyone, this is Keyblader007, and this is our new Organization 13 event number 2. Zigbar is here. Now, Zigbar is a lot easier to get than the Xemnas, so don't fret. Anyone can do this. It's a little difficult um, because of the challenge, not because of the strength requirement, except one mission you do need to have a little bit strongish metals to get through it. But not to fret. I found this great guide for you guys, it goes step by step, but I'll show you using the guide. I only used it for two missions myself because, not that I couldn't beat them, I just didn't have the patience to go through every single possible portal like this guy did. So I'll post that in the description below. The Organization 13 event will last from today the 13th to February 19th. It arrives on the 13th of every month. This month is number two for number two, the Free Shooter Zigbar. And you get the cool um, hair comes with the eye patch and the uh, scar. That's pretty cool. This metal is actually really good. For a, It's a high cost metal though. Okay, so you have Zigbar B metal, Zigbar Avatar style part. It is a three um, tier metal, speed reversed just like the original one. It's a six cost metal, but it's a single target. Deals four extremely powerful hits that ignore targets attributes, just like WAF metals, and lowers targets defense by two tiers for one attack. Two tiers. That's a lot. That's not regular like PSM defense, that's normal defense. So you put an SP one or two on this thing and it could be amazing. And this is only for the, the 5 star version, it may be a little stronger for the 6 star version. And just a, a disclaimer, I'm not guilting this for you guys, because after what happened with Xemnas, I'm not risking it, but I'll show you up to the level of where you would get it if you guilted it. So the first mission is one of our asinine ones. <clears throat> They're all timed, uh, let me get that out of the way. There's no complete, like, you know, in one turn type of shit, just everything's timed. Organization 13, number 2, Zigbar 1. Uh, complete with 60 seconds, then you get all the rewards. 70 seconds for that, 80 seconds for 20 jewels. It's always 20 jewels. Avatar, uh, Armored Archer, level 25. We're back to AP, but I think it's only 1 AP. Because that's what it seems like for these. Or maybe it's just these missions. I don't remember. So the first thing you want to do is the upper left portal. From the upper left portal you want to go straight down. And you want to go straight up near the open door. And the upper left portal, which is this one right here. And that brings you to your armored archer. And we did this in record time. Again, I'm slightly using the guide because I don't remember all the trial and error I did on this mission. And I'm wearing the hair as you can see. So yeah, you see how there was a ton of portals? Basically, you enter one, you'll come out of another, and you gotta figure out which portal leads where. So the first mission is one of those annoying ones. This one is a little easier, Zigbar 2, oh, I forgot to read it, uh, complete within 60 seconds, you get a nice mirror, that's that's a nice prize upgrade. Still the crappy Huey, Dewey, Louie type prizes, uh, 20 jewels, level 50 gummy hammer. In this one, you just go through every single portal in front of you, and you'll keep getting ambushed by enemies fast. This will be repeated later on. This is why I have Tama and Lightning on top instead of Aerial. Because <clears throat> time is of the essence. Go straight through the portals and prepare to be ambushed. Make sure you have good defense or high HP because you're going to get attacked every single chance the game gets. And there's the boss, it leads you right to him. And we're just gonna nova his ass. Go 
for 45 seconds. I believe you have to do it in 60, so definitely fit the goal. Have a, a good strong metal in your first slot of whatever keyblade is good. I chose the Starlight because it has a 2.35 first slot for upright blue, which we don't have many good first slots on keyblades. They're usually like 1.9 or shit like that. So 2.35 is pretty good. <clears throat> this is where you get your first Zigbar medal. This is Zigbar mission number 3, Yellow Opera level 80. 50 seconds for the medal this time. This is another portal type of thing, but it's different from the first one. In this one, you basically choose your path of enemies. Oh wait, no, this is not that one. This is a different one, but you'll see. <clears throat> it's good that we're keeping the same build. Straight through the portal into the darkness. You don't have to fight the enemies, you can just avoid them. Unless they trigger by walking past them. 50 seconds is more than enough time to do this. <coughs> you want to skip through these portals without actually going in them. <coughs> In way less than 50 seconds, I might add. That would not you your first Zigbar medal. <laughs> now comes number four where you choose your path that you most are comfortable with. 65 seconds for all the prizes, nothing great, just medals, Huey Dewey Louie, Armored Archer level 100. <clears throat> Sticking to the same build. You just pick whichever one looks easiest. So I like this guy. And go through. Again, I like this guy. They get increasingly harder as you go through. Until you reach your final boss, which would be right after this portal. And he's right there. So we're zooming through this. It's easier than Larxene, it's easier than Marluxia, it's easier than Zenmus. There's only like one mission here that might cause some of you to have trouble. Besides the portal guiding ones, because those are annoying in their own right. <coughs> This might be my first organization video that's under 30 minutes, or under 26 minutes. Alright, part 5. Another Zigbar medal. Uh, 25 seconds seems like a lot, so you know that that means we're going to have portals. We're thinking with portals, people. We're thinking with portals. Hey, Level 130 bad dog. Stick to the build. Okay, so first we go to our leftmost portal, right here, then we go to our top right, and then the portal on the right. And we lead you right to your dog in way under um, your 25 second mark. Yeah, 15 is about where I beat it last time. And that'll get you another Zigbar B medal. Okay, so now we're up to part six. This is 75 seconds, you get a mirror, 85 seconds, uh, Dewey, and 95 seconds, 20 jewels. Fire plant level 150. This is similar to the second quest, which is an ambush quest. Go through a portal, get smacked in the face by enemies. Like so.
and you gotta run to the next portal fast. <coughs> you gotta be ready to do damage, preferably one or two attacks, and then run to the next portal. Because the battle animations take up a lot of time. And there's the boss. They're still under the 75 seconds. So they give you a lot of time. They do. This is pretty doable for, like, almost everybody. As long as you've been keeping up with medals, even if you're afraid to play. If you've been getting... If you got any WAF medals just from that couple WAF deals a couple weeks back, you're good. If you got a bunch of Tier 3 gilts from, like, the 3 dot, um things we always get lately, you're good. <clears throat> this one's funny, because it's easy, but it's just weird. It's just a bridge full of archers, just straight up archer, 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 <clears throat> whole bunch of waves, as fast as you can. 70 seconds is all you need to do it, well, really under it, and you get a mirror, uh, you get a louis, and you get 20 jewels. They're at 100 and level, 180 level, but it's not that hard. <clears throat> There's no puzzle here, just run, fight. Run, fight. There's about five waves. <clears throat> Sorry for the throat, getting a little fun today. Always happens when I want to film. These guys preemptively strike you. I have no defense boost stuff on, but you can handle it. It's wave three. Four. And five. Really stupidly easy. I guess they picked Archer because Zigbar is kind of an archer himself, the way he shoots those, like, bolt things at you. <clears throat> Obviously the rewards for a mission that easy suck. Alright, now this quest 8 is similar to quest 4 where we go through a portal and you choose whichever one you want to go through, that's the enemies you'll fight and you keep going that way. This is another Zigbar B-Metal, 80 seconds is what you need to do this in. Um, <clears throat> more jewels and a Huey Gold, which is like a 5 star. Gummy Hammer is level 200 and let's just start this. So far I'm sticking with the same Keyblade. Pick my poison, I'll go with the bag of jewels. Alright, um, I'll stick with the fat guy. So far I like this direction. A harmless little shadow at level 200. A lot of help for a shadow. And there's your enemy. And we're within the 80 seconds. I hate timed quests. If you watch my videos, you know I tell you all the time I hate things to do with clocks. In any video game. It's a fun challenge. Sometimes it gets obnoxious fast. Like, really fast. Alright, next up is number 9, the hairstyle quest. <clears throat> this is another annoying portal quest, if I believe. Yeah, it is. Probably one of the worst ones. Ice plant level 210, you get the girl and the boy hair, and 85 seconds for jewels. So, 
let's go into this craziness. You're like, holy shit. So first, leftmost portal. Then isolated bottom leftmost portal. So that would be this one right here. Then the bottom most. Oh crap, there's enemies. Unfortunately, it is this way. Past the rock. It's this one right here. And there you go. There's your guy. So you may have to fight one of those level 200 flowers. But it's a nice reward. I mean, it looks pretty bitchin'. It's the first hairstyle for the organization members or anyone that actually comes with other stuff like an eye patch and a scar. So it's pretty cool. Again, I'll be posting the guide that I reference throughout this video in the description below. So, if my visual guide isn't enough, you'll have that guide as well. Alright, we're up to number 10. It's another ambush quest, and some enemies may paralyze you. So that's a problem. And you get another Zigbar B medal, 80 seconds, 90 seconds for a Louis plane, and 100 seconds for 20 jewels. The invisibles are level 220. <clears throat> so for this, we might want to switch out to something a little stronger just to be safe. Because if we get paralyzed, we might be in trouble. Actually, I think I might need to do this build anyway, because, yeah, these enemies are a little stronger. So I took my Rose build because it's one of my strongest, and I can use Ariel's ability of, you know, up to your 3 strength to make all my metals ridiculously powerful. If we're gonna get ambushed, we might as well do it in style. Sephiroth can like own everybody on this Keyblade. It's a 3.0 slot, level 30. This one you watch out for. You get paralyzed, you can't do anything. Sometimes it blocks your next move. So we'll see how far they let me go. Yeah, we're we're over and I'm not risking it. These guys are deadly. And the boss is obviously next. Because, you know, when you're going to Nova, it's going to be because of some stupid reason if you're going to Nova before the final boss. We're up to 60 seconds, so we're still within the 80. And there we go. We got it. Whew. Hate bees. I hate those little bee guys completely paralyze you. <clears throat> There's about two more portal quests left. The next one is one of them, and unfortunately it's a Zigbar B medal. Level 230, number 11, your fifth Zigbar B medal. Uh, 95 seconds for the Louis plane. 105 seconds for 20 jewels, but you want to get this so you get everything. <sighs> okay. So, after much trial and error, which is not that portal, you want to carefully, carefully, carefully through these evil mess of portals and then count on this side six down so one no two three no four five six right here that brings you to this desertly area and this is your yeah it's pretty much all you have to do there's just a billion portals and you're going to hit into the walls a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot and you're gonna want to shoot yourself but don't cheat yourself, because it's doable. It's doable. You just gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe in the me who believes in you. Got it? Got it. Go and log on reference for you anime fans out there. Great anime. OK, 
Okay, so as I was saying, we only have two more to go, and this next one is just like Quest 4 and 8, which will have a powerful copter fleet of gummies at the end. So take your strongest build, take your time, people. Because you gotta do this within a hundred seconds. I forgot to go through that. 100 seconds, more than enough time to do this. Let's get those beautiful rewards. It doesn't matter which path you take, they're all the same flower asshole. The vine rose can do a great deal on its last slot. We're gonna stick with the flower assholes. Like I said, you can choose your own path in this. This is just my set path that I like to pick based on enemies. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This is where a lot of people get stuck, because look, you gotta pick your copter fleet, and now the game is lagging like crazy because it can't handle enemies on the screen on the android when I'm filming. So, we're gonna go with the, the blue one. This two, yeah, this two of them, but they're only level 240, so it's not something impossible. We're gonna use both of our waft medals. Sephiroth should be able to finish this off himself. And there's your final boss. We're only about 70 seconds in, give or take. Ninety seconds, okay. So we beat it right at the hundred mark. It's tricky, I'm not gonna lie, it is a little tricky. One minute thirty seconds, that's about ninety-three seconds. But we got it. We got what we needed. And now the most asinine portal quest ever. And you get the title organization number two. Uh, you get 20 jewels and you get your final Zigbar B medal. Level 250 armored archer. Now there's a scary set of um, black copter fleet hidden here. If you fuck up your portals, you're going to be regretting it. But try not to fuck up your portals. Okay, so first the top right portal, which is this one. And then the portal left of the tree above you, which is this one. And you see there's your copter fleet guy right there. You don't want to go there. No. So you want to go to this portal right here, which touches the bottom of that um, little star in the bottom. And there's your armored archer. And he's mad weak, so if you do this right, it's cake. Only hard one to get through is number 12, because of those copter fleets. We have to do this within 65 seconds. We did it in 23 people. 23 seconds. And that's it. That is the Zigbar B event. We are done. Thank you, Lord. I was regretting doing this one because of all the portals. So, let's show off the title. I go to outfits by mistake. Sorry, stupid. And it's right there, see, number two with the zipper. Just like the number one we had from Xemnas and the other ones from the other ones. And now let's go to see the new medals. There they all are. With the exception of Darkseid, he's just kinda chilling. So he has four extremely powerful hits that ignore targets, attributes, and lowers power defense by two tiers of one attack. Let's see if we evolve and what happens. So, let's combine him the right way, because I need to save on my inventory space anyway. So we're going to combine him with the other ones. You want a three dot one of them. Do not screw this up, people. If you get all seven... And like I said, I'm not guilting anything right now because I really, really want to 
halfway for a gill campaign. I'm sorry. But I'm not getting screwed like last time. I like to keep my medals locked so I don't screw up. See, so this way I know which ones the dotted ones and which one aren't. You want to make a two dot and a three dot. That's first. So, if we go back, three dot, two dot. Next, you want to max out the actual level. So to that, we got to switch to XP, no skill. So I have some spare stuff I'm just going to get rid of here. Um, but I got tons and tons of green planes. So we're going to evolve him. He looks like this now, which is pretty cool. Now it deals six extremely powerful hits. That's the only big difference. The multiplier goes up to 3.6 and it deals six extremely powerful hits. Your multiplier will raise if you guilt it, by the way. And then we're going to do the same with the other one, and I'll show you how it would be if we initialized the way it would be to guilt it. And that gets on my nerves because I needed one more to get to 80. I'm going to evolve him with my tremendous amount of resources. Now we swap to 6 star. He's down here, so we use the big guy as the base. And that's how it would be if we guilted it. See? That lights up. But we ain't doing that. Sorry. Waiting for guilt campaign. I'm not getting screwed over like I did with Xemnas B. And for those of you that don't remember Xemnas B, I'll show you the guilt I got on him. Where's Dab Master? There he is. Uh, a guilt campaign could have at least brought that to 70 or pro probably higher. So, yeah, we ain't doing that. So, that's my video, guys. I hope you have good uh, luck doing this and get through that 12 mission and you're good because that's really the only one that challenges you. Alright, peace out to the next event or story update.